But dude, think about what you're saying. Like the fact that Wolf has granted us the opportunity to play with Zigaboo, to play with Bernard Purdy, Nate Smith, know, Michael man. Bland, Gadsen. Oh, bro. All these freaking drummers that are like the reference. Dude, I I can't even that's one of the most incredible things about Wolf is like and again, everyone you just mentioned, but these cats can all do it so hard still. Getting to when we got to play with Purdy, at some point I just got off the mic. You were like taking a solo or something, and I just put my guitar down and I just got as close as possible with my ear to Purdy's snare. I took my earplugs out. I swear, bro. And I was like, I don't care if I lose my hearing. I need to know. And I tried not to creep him out. He didn't see me. I got as close as I could, and I just went like, uh, uh, and I was like, oh god. Like, the way he snaps it is just like I tried to really take a deep breath, fully, fully inhale, and just be like, "This is this is it. I'm at the source." <laughs> right Dude, now. yeah, he sounds in, incredible. Like it's, and you can't even watch him hit the snare. It just happens. It's that's like bland too. There's yeah. Like, it's like where, where is it happening? You know what I mean? Yeah. Gadsden, when we got to record with Gadsden, and he's just sitting there completely silently as we work out the arrangement, and he's kind of, kind of looking straight ahead. He's not really, you know. And you're like, oh, I wonder if James is paying attention, you know. And then it's like, <laughs> we're like, all right, are we ready to do the take? And he's like, yeah, I think we're ready. Pete, are you rolling? And now here, he he's like, not wasting any time. Word rolling, dude. <laughs> as soon as you heard the word rolling, he counted off so it was like. Holy crap! Like, we like Gadsden is is completely ready to rock at all times, <laughs> and yeah, I mean he's my favorite. guys are all heroes of mine but but once i discovered gadson i was like man that's that's the feel for me you know gadson zig purdy levon and Ooh. bonham is kind of where i come from and alan evans and carter you know it was, it was because carter i couldn't i couldn't figure any of that stuff out yeah. i didn't figure any of it out i have did no you have under the table not drumming? a single one did you have the vhs i, I, I I I saw it. I I didn't I didn't own it. I I did I did get it through it, but I didn't I didn't I don't know for some reason I couldn't. I lacked a certain level of like 
it, it was I'm not proud of this. I wish I had had the patience. I wouldn't get that patience till later to be like, let me transcribe. And transcription yeah, yeah. is probably the biggest sure. way that I've been able to integrate new musical vocabulary into my world, you know? Mm-hmm. But I didn't have the patience to really transcribe when I was that age. But anyway, when you think about being like, I had a Dave record, I had I'm Dave Matthews, I got Zeppelin, but then I got Alan Evans and Zig, and then I'm a songwriter, so I start wanting to hear the lyrics, so I end up playing all that stuff kind of too yeah. quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I go to jazz school for drums, and they're like, Theo, I need more from you. I'm in the big band, and the guys keep going, more, more. And I just can't, I can't give the downbeat enough, because I'm like, I can't hear the band if I hit it that hard, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but then it ends up being like a superpower for recording, so it's yeah. like... And then once we start playing with Wolf, and you put 15,000 people in front of me, I just start bashing. Which is a problem. Yeah, I'm trying yeah. to work on that. Yeah. 